Hello YouTube family, Facebook family, biological family, and friends. Also, hello new acquaintances. I'm Carol Cortez on assignment. That's called Mission Possible to bless us all with information, both you and me. Well, today I'm out here in a beautiful day. If you can see the scenery behind me, beautiful environment. And I was blessed to meet a, a, a gentleman that was talking with me and sharing some great information with me that I just knew would be a blessing to all of you. So we're dialoguing and I'm going to turn the camera on him and I want you to hear his testimony of whatever he would have in his heart, mind, and spirit to share with you. Listen in. Trust me. It's blessed me listening to him and I know it's going to bless you. So this is Edwin. So Edwin, you was telling me a test, uh, part of the testimony about your uh, life. So I want you to share that with everyone, okay? Yes, definitely. Uh, you know, first I want to say, you know, it's a blessing meeting you as well. Thank you. And, uh, you know, it, it is a beautiful day today, you know, that God provided for all of us. And, you know, sometimes I don't understand how many people say that there is no God and just how He provides the sun, the waters, where they stay, and, you know, the, the vegetables, the fruits, you know, so that we can survive. Things don't happen by chance. It's a creator, and everything that's in the Bible is, is true. It happened, it's proof, and I just want many people to understand that there is a God, and you have hope. There's hope for all of us. We have to continue to, uh, you know, understand and be open-minded to things and not just be close-minded of how we are taught when we are young because there's a bright op broad opening on everything in life and there's a reason for everything. And, um, you know, about my life, uh, you know, I've gone to different churches in my life. Uh, I was raised Catholic. I've gone to so many different church churches that uh, I started getting a little bit confused because they were teaching different things. And um, that brought me to start reading the Bible so that I can understand what really is the truth and what God is really saying from the scriptures. And I think that was the reason why I gone through, uh, God allowed me to go to different churches so that I can get into the Word and know what is the real truth of what He is saying. So, you know, we can go to church and, and believe everything that the pastor said, but we're supposed to be Berrians and study the scriptures, make sure that everything that's taught is being, it's from the scriptures. We have to test everything that, that's out there. There's different types of spirits. So we want to follow God's spirit, not Satan's spirit, because he can be this, you know, he can deceive us in many different ways that if we have our guard down, we will definitely believe it. This is why we need to be in the word of God so that we can protect ourselves and we can test those spirits that's not of God. And like I was saying that, you know, I got to different churches and and allow me to get into the Word because I was getting confused how, you know, they were teaching on salvation. You know, everybody was teaching different things. And I didn't know what was the right way until I got into the scriptures. And I had to study and study and pray about it and allow God's Spirit to uh, lead me. And um, with that said, that brought me closer to God. He saw that I was searching and and wanted to know the truth. And so he opened up my eyes to a lot of different things that I didn't understand before. And I'm grateful and thankful for that. But we have to put our front foot forward in order to know what is the truth. And not believe everything you hear, either on TV or what people say, you know. Make sure whatever they say is coming from 
the scriptures. Make sure they have a script, uh, Bible on their hand and that you can see what they are saying. Don't believe everything you hear because you can get deceived by anybody. It's only one God and, you know, there's, there's no many different gods. There's only one God. And he's the only one that can lead you to salvation and bring you closer to him. And uh, in my life, uh, you know, I got through di different churches and I, you know, I learned different things. And it did get me a little bit confused, but in studying the word, I was able to understand a little bit more what the truth is. And um, bring me to, it brought me to a church that teaches straight from the scriptures, not just saying it from your mind because you know some scriptures. I want to hear everything that you say is from God, not from you. Because you can't save me, only God can save me. So, um, you know, you had mentioned, uh, you had mentioned that there were two main factors uh, when it comes to uh, accepting God and Christ in your life. And I was liking what you had said, and you gave me the scripture. Uh, you said it was, what scripture was Mark it? Mark 16, 15. I think it was 15, 16. Cause Mark 15, 16. Yeah, I, I, I pulled it up. I pulled it up, and I liked what you had said, and, and I liked how you had connected the dots there. That not only, I'll let you speak about it. Sure. Mark 15, 16, it says, if you believe and is baptized, you will be saved. If you don't believe, you will be condemned. So in other words, you need to believe, you need to confess the, uh, the Lord, Lord's name and you have to get baptized in order to get saved. Not just believe because even the demon believe in Christ and they're not saved. So in Mark uh, 15, 16 it says if you believe and is baptized, which is there's an and connected to believe. So you have to do both of them at, at the same, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be at the same time, but you need to believe and confess and, and get baptized. For, in Acts 2.38 says, if you repent and be baptized, uh, your sins will be forgiven. Then your sins will be forgiven and you will receive the Holy Spirit. And then if you go down to Acts 2.47, it says, you were added to the church, which is the church of Christ. So you cannot be added if you, unless you are saved. So you can't claim to be saved if you're not added and follow exactly what God says in the scriptures. Amen. And you know, um, I find as a, as, a, as a Christian, as a believer in Christ, that he was saved, that he helped you know, he paved the way for my salvation. He made a way for my salvation. I find that I have a peace that passes all understanding. A lot of people don't understand how I'm so peaceful, how I'm so joyful. When I was a, a little girl, people used to say, why do you smile so much? And I said to myself, yeah, I don't know why I smile so much. And then I said to God, you know, why do I smile so much? And he simply said to me, because I have made you happy. So it's no doing of my own. It's a gift that God gave me. So I'm saying, just like, like Edwin's saying, that when you go in and accept Christ as your savior, and you read the word like he's saying, in the book of Timothy, it says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman needing not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. When you read that word for yourself, no matter what anyone is saying or not saying, you're learning exactly what God needs you to know. So, you know, I just wanted to add that to what he was saying. And he was telling me something about, you know, a point in his life when he, he found that something was missing. And a lot of us get to that point. So I'm going to let you hear what he said about the remedy he had. Yes, hi. My younger days, I was always going out, going to clubs, drinking. And, uh, you know, I felt good at the moment, maybe for a couple of hours or whatever it was um but then when i woke up the next day i woke up with a hangover you know and i said what am i doing you know i don't feel right i felt empty i felt like something was missing and i knew exactly what it was i knew uh, i needed god in my life and 
and that's why it helped me to change because you know you could have the money all the money in the world you could have um, the cars the houses the boats but at the end of the day if you don't have God you don't really have anything you need to be rich in God and not you know everything that you have here on earth is only temporary it's not gonna go with you when you die so you, you either could have the things here or have something waiting for you after, after after you die and that is Christ that is your salvation to live forevermore and that's worth anything and everything that you can possibly imagine if you don't have that then what's the point because we're not here forever this is only a place that we pass through you know as um you know, God put us here for a reason, you know, to serve Him and, you know, to follow His laws. And, you know, as long as we do that, then we're, we're in God's sight. You know, He will bless us. He will, you know, be there with us. But once we commit sin and we don't want nothing to do with God, then it's only our own doing. It's not His doing. That's right. That's right. And it's only going to lead you to death. You know. So, I hope that you appreciated all that he had shared with you, and I know it, I appreciate it, and it blessed me. You know, we all, the Word of God in the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. So as Edwin stood here and talked to me, he was strengthening me, he was enlightening me, and I hope that as I was talking with him, that I was doing likewise to him. And so at that point, I said, you know what, I can't let this goodness of what he's saying just be for me only. It's got to be for others also. So I chose to ask him if he would take a moment and, and please be one of my guests on my YouTube channel. Uh, because the main thing is that we need to let everyone know the goodness of God and how it can turn your life into beautiful days. Not always perfect, of course not, not always beautiful, but he will give you a peace beyond all of the difficulties and challenges when they come. And it'll roll right into the joy when the joyful times come. So I want to say thank you for checking in on my YouTube channel. I ask that you please give us a thumbs up so I and Edward will know that you loved what he shared with you. Also, if you would subscribe, click on subscribe. I, from what I understand, you need to have a, a um, Google account so that you can subscribe and also that you can leave comments. So sign up with Google, not that I'm endorsing Google, but if you want to leave a comment or if you want to subscribe, you do need to have a Google account or, uh, uh, with YouTube. So click on subscribe. Click on comments, leave with me your comments and your suggestions and your questions. Click on thumbs up, letting me know that you like the information I shared with you. Ring the bell, ring the notification bell so that the next future broadcast, you'll be automatically notified every time I do a broadcast. Okay? And uh, there's one more thing, and what is it? Subscribe, um, tell other people. Tell other people about this YouTube channel so that they too can be enlightened of what's available, information that's readily available to them, okay? So God bless you. Please stay blessed, stay encouraged, and stay connected with me. And I will talk to, to, with you real soon. Please click on subscribe and ring the bell. Join YouTube so that you can do Google account can leave me your comments and your questions and your suggestions. Bye now. Talk to you soon. Stay blessed.